If you are building open source projects, you need a good source for printed circuit boards. PCBWay is that partner that can help you bring your ideas to reality, especially in projects like building a board. PCBWay is right now hosting an innovation contest. Go to their website, sign up, and enjoy this opportunity to create something cool and earn some prizes in the process. So I love customizing my stuff. When I got my TX16S, I did everything possible to customize it. I changed the sides, I changed inside to have some colors, I changed the sticks and everything. I did something very similar with my goggles, where you can see that I have like a custom strap, uh, strap that I sell in my shop, and I tried to do something to make it look like a little bit more unique. I even started designing parts for other drones so I can change colors and I can have different shapes in the drones that I have. So when I got my Zorro, I of course started to look for what can I do with it? What can I change? What's the best thing that I can put on this new radio that I have? So I went to the internet and I started reading what people were saying about it and trying to figure out if there was something cool, something that I wanted to do to make my Zorro unique. I didn't find a lot of things. There are people talking about the worst part of the radio being the battery life, so they have some kind of 3D printed part to add to the radio and have some extra batteries, 18650 or something like that. But I didn't like that. The one that I found that most people were talking about was actually the gimbals. This radio has an opportunity to change the gimbals to something that is called AG01, sold by Radio Master as well. And everyone was talking about they are the most wonderful gimbals. You feel like you have a luxury radio now. They are super smooth. They are making me fly even better. So I had to go get myself a couple and test to see if I agree with what everyone else was saying. The AG-01 comes in a very nice box. You just open them, you have two units because they sell separately as well in case that you want to replace only one if you break it or something. And then you have to install them yourself. The process is, let's say straightforward, you open the radio, you have to unplug everything, remove a few screws, and then you replace the gimbal itself. Not very complicated, but a little tip here, if you're doing it, take a lot of pictures in every step that you're doing so you know where the cables are connected. The cables are very similar, all of them inside, and you have like maybe three or four per stick. So when you're removing them, you have to remove them, all of them, so you can take a certain PCB that is there um, away. Have something to mark them, have a picture or something like that so you don't get confused when you are putting it back. After closing the radio, you have something new. You have this radio with the new gimbals which everyone is talking about, right? For my surprise, I don't know. I didn't find a big difference flying with this gimbals than with the ones provided originally with the radio. And I started to think maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe I'm completely out of place. I don't know. So I went, up, I went back to the internet and I asked in a couple of forums if people were thinking the same as me or if they were finding them very good. And I found a lot of people thinking that they were the most precious upgrade that you can do to a radio. At the same time, I found a couple of people thinking like me, they didn't make a huge difference. After a few months of flying with these gimbals, I can say, yes, they are a little bit better. I, I think I can find that I can fly much more stable than with the regular default gimbals, but it's not for me this huge thing that it's a lot of people are talking about. I talked with a friend that has done the change for both the TX16S and for the Zorro because they are different sizes, right? They are different gimbals. And in his experience, the AG01 for the TX16S are much better than for the Zorro. He told me, I don't think it's worth for the Zorro, but it's worth for the TX16S. 
I don't know. I haven't tested TX16S AG01 gimbals, and most probably I will do later. But I'm doing right now, I'm talking right now about these radios. So I wanted to finish my thoughts here. Is an improvement? Yes, I think it's an improvement. They are pretty solid. They feel pretty solid when you're flying. So you feel that you have upgraded your radio, actually. But the question is, is it worth it for the money it costs? And that's the part that I'm gonna leave to your own judgment. In my experience, I couldn't feel that much different to justify the cost of these gimbals. But maybe you do. Maybe you wanna have like a really cool and premium radio with the premium gimbals and you feel the difference. So it's something that is worth for you. One last thing that I want to say is that when you look at them, they are different. They have these kind of silver lines inside, which I don't know, they remind me of the Wonder Woman logo that she has here on the, on the chest. So I'm not considering like very nice looking to be honest between you and me, but this is something very, very subjective and maybe you love it and maybe there is a lot of people that don't care how they look and they just care about how they feel and they feel pretty cool. This was a very short opinion for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know, what do you think? Is the AG01 worth having on the Soro? Do you see the difference between the AG AG01 on the Soro and the TX16S? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you soon.